The series of public art sculptures is called Pedestrian Geometries, which uh, was a series of 20 sculptures on 3rd Street in Austin. Scott Magic of Magic Architecture was working on the new Austin, Texas coffee bar for Intelligentsia, and he and Intelligentsia were interested in having a mural uh, made with the same Pelgin Bottler brick. You know, obviously I didn't know about the Intelligentsia project when I was making that project, but it is a little bit like these sculptures are all like leading you to Intelligentsia. My name is Erin Curtis. I am an artist. I live and work in Austin, Texas. Erin said she had this masonry project that she wanted us to look at, but everything she was describing was not anything like what we were used to doing. She asked if I'd be interested, and I said no, because <laughs> we were so busy at the time. But she persisted, and we finally agreed to do it. My name is Ben Wheaton, and I am the vice president at C.W. Oates Masonry. We did the installation and construction of the mural project at the Intelligentsia Coffee Bar. It was really a dream for me to be able to work with uh, Elgin Butler Brick again. Elgin is a company that's been around for over 100 years. Their bricks built the Texas Capitol. It's great to use a material that's local, and it's a beautiful material. So, I mean, I would recommend using it if it wasn't local, but, <laughs> but it makes it extra special. The color palette came about for me um, when I saw the magic architecture design at first. There were a lot of references to natural Texas, specifically some of our swimming holes. So I was sort of thinking of creating a space that would feel cool and welcoming, um, especially on some of our hot summer days. So once I get my palette narrowed down, I started making scale drawings of different brick patterns. To work with the unit of brick provides like this endless possibility of patterning. The best of the pattern studies got digitally multiplied and became strips, almost like pieces of fabric. And then these got woven together to create the ultimate mural design. Once the mural design was finalized, the bricks were all sent to C.W. Oates. They created a number of boxes to fit different kinds of patterns. These were built literally like puzzle pieces and then were brought down to the coffee bar. So the mural consisted of 4,800 bricks, roughly 10,000 cuts, 13,000 total pieces in about a 23 feet wide by 20 feet tall space. I always felt like Intelligentsia wanted something unique and original, and it wasn't about illustrating a brand. It was about creating something about Austin. So where this coffee bar is located on 3rd Street along the bike path is going to be there for everyone to enjoy. It really is something that Intelligentsia is creating for the city. It's in the coffee bar, but it's really in the city.